Right now, the ISL on the Indian Super League begins this Sunday. And uh, joining me on the show this evening, the biggest name in Indian football, Baichung Bhutia, and of course, John Abraham, who is now a team owner. Baichung, I'll start with you. The first and the most obvious question that's on everybody's mind just two days before the league begins is will it be a game changer for Indian football? Will ISL take Indian football, which is what? Languishing at number 158 in the world, to the next level? I'm hoping that it will take Indian football to a next level. Yes, uh, what we've not uh, been able to achieve with uh, I-League for a few years, I think this is where ISL can achieve. And uh, hopefully we could, we could be able to see more, uh, more stars coming out, uh, new talent, uh, young players in uh, Hero ISL, uh, getting that opportunity to play with big names. And hopefully we can motivate a lot of youngsters to come and pick up the game and to motivate that they can make a career out of playing football right but many critics by Chung would say uh, looking at the list of these high profile team owners uh, without any offense to John of course that this league is only about the glitz and the glamour how will it help football at the ground level I think because you guys in the media don't want to cover football unless glamour fame uh, you know and money is there so I think this is one of the reason why I'm giving an interview today or why you taking an interview or from me is also because of you know hero ISL starting and because we've got uh, you know Bollywood stars to cricketers owning the team uh, uh, and and so on so it's it's important that sport if uh, any sport has to develop in India it ha it needs uh, investors coming into the sport and also it needs glamour it needs fame it needs to be uh, you know it needs to the players uh, this sport has to be uh, given plenty of media coverage but yes uh, we've got to do much more than just you know having celebrities or uh, you know uh, celebrities of money coming into the sport but uh, in a longer run I, it's important that you know we uh, all the franchises and all the teams that, that are playing in hero ISL does invest in grassroots and does invest in youth development programs which uh, for a longer run benefits the uh, team themselves and also uh, Indian football uh, in a right. longer run. I hate to point this out, Bai Chung. We cover enough of Indian football and NDTV, even when there are no star team owners. But uh, fair enough, uh, I get your point. Also, not all star owners are football novices. John, we know you played football, you follow football. So when it came to making the team, did you take part actively? As in, can we see a John Abraham stamp on Northeast FC? Uh, it's been a very conscious effort on my part uh, to make sure that... Uh, at least uh, being a football person, I have a lot of control over what's happening in the team because when someone invests a lot, then they ask a lot. And I'd rather ask questions to myself. I'd rather pat my back for any kind of success or point a finger at myself for any kind of failure. Right. Uh, the other criticism about the ISL is that it looks like a retirement home because, you know, all players who are past their prime have joined the league, especially the big stars. Bajung, how would you respond to this criticism? I think if you look at it, any football nation to grow, you can't, you, and especially India where football is very, very small compared to world standard and football is not, India is not known for football. So it's, it's a big, big challenge and look at what has happened to US. I think a lot of the stars after playing their prime in Europe has gone on to play, play in uh, Major League Soccer in US and that's how the US league is picked up. We look at Japan as well, the kind of stars that initially came to Japan to play, where all the players, when they came towards uh, uh, you know, towards the end of their prime uh, career. So, I think it's important that uh, Hero ISL can bring in big names. Maybe not there in the prime, prime, prime uh, form, but right. players like Del Piero, players like uh, uh, Federer, Leumbach. I think these are the big names in world football. And just coming in, convincing them to come to play in India, it's a massive, massive step that clubs have taken because it's not easy to get these big names. Uh, you know. To come and play in play in play in India, where football overall in the world is not known, so uh, we've been able to achieve that. So I think it's important that you know this year we've had few big names, and hopefully with that, I think we will be able to get uh, again big names in uh, in second uh, hero ISL. Right. Uh, valid point, Bai Chung, you you make there. The fact that the likes of Del Piero, David Trezeguet, Nicolas Anelka have agreed to play in India itself is is a very big deal. But talking about big players, uh, John. You have a World Cup winner and Johan uh, Captivia in your team. Uh, tell us about him. How has he taken to the team and more importantly, how has he taken to India? Captivia is a highly motivated character. I can confidently say he's a good friend today. Uh, we speak about everything under the sun. 
he loves india and that's really special he wants to come back and uh, uh the way he motivates the players is absolutely fabulous and that's the reason for getting someone with his temperament on board and not to forget he won the world cup in south africa with spain in 2010 which i believe is the best world cup squad of the last 50 years yeah certainly that was a great team and he was part of it now he will be playing in front of indian audiences uh, okay bhai chung back to you here's another valid question that the non believers in the league raise why will people watch players who are past their prime on indian tv when they get top level european football action on tv every weekend you know the likes of man united barcelona are on tv every weekend you know watching live and watching on tv is a totally two different thing i i you know i go and watch watch matches in sikkim in some remote village and the kind of excitement you just get watching those village tournament is is nothing you can't compare that with you know watching real madrid Bar barcelona on television so watching live uh, being there and watching either a small match where there's so much passion and watching a european big match or a world cup final on tv is a two different thing so i think it's important that when they uh, when when you know big names the quality of football is is there and you can be live on the ground and watch it i think that experience itself is very different from uh, you know watching a match real madrid barcelona on tv so i think uh, yeah the environment of just being in the stadium and to watching getting to watch all these big names live in stadium is i think very different experience from you know watching world cup final or barcelona real madrid play on tv okay a uh, fair point uh, john i'll come to you now and here's one thing i really wanted to ask you will northeast united fc also act as a medium that will connect the often neglected northeast to mainland india will it showcase the eight states from india's east to the rest of the country this is the first time you're presenting the northeast to the rest of india because uh, uh, look at any commercial look at the kbc commercial sab jante lekin koi manta nahi hai look at anything that exists uh, the northeast has a bit because of bad governance the northeast has always been neglected and i think this is a big opportunity for us to get the northeast and present them to the rest of india and say that here are the highlanders and these guys are really going to show you what football is all right looks like i'm already a northeast united fc fan uh, biting to you the toughest question of the entire discussion that i've had with you you're now attached uh, not attached to any isl team so which team will you support northeast united fc since you belong to the northeast or atletico de kolkata since you've spent majority of your playing career in kolkata now just be careful what you choose because john is on the other line and secondly because you are sitting in kolkata as we speak <laughs> it it's a very difficult yes i would want to see northeast united do well uh, because i come from northeast as well at the same time yes atletico di kolkata where i where i where i live it's my second home uh, so yes but ultimately i think i hope uh, you know the best team wins and uh, i just want that northeast united it's you know that it's a team uh, from you know it's a team that identifies northeast region eight different states so i hope each and every northeastern does connect to the team and come behind the team and support the team so and so as so as atletico di kolkata here in bengal i, I hope uh, you know east bengal and mohan bagan don't need to divide their support now they can have one team atletico di kolkata where uh, they can come together and support their own home uh, city or a home base club right imagine that mohan bagan and east bengal fans supporting the same side that is something that we might see in the isl finally before i let both of you go uh, john to you how do you see the off field rivalry playing out now that you know sachin tendulkar abhishek bachchan varun dhawan are co owners people that you really know well well i i mean for for the for both those people uh, in question abhishek is probably if not one of my closest friends in in the industry i i love him to death and uh, not in the dostana way but i love him to death but uh, uh, we we get along very well and i think any kind of rivalry is very healthy i spoke to sachin as well and uh, sachin is very competitive and i'm sure so is saurav i didn't get a chance to meet saurav this time but i'm sure he's competitive um varun's young and he loves the fact that he's associated with goa and varun and i are doing a hopefully doing a film together so it's it's all going to be a lot of fun out there and we're going to be discussing a lot of stuff uh it's, it's just going to be great fun all right we certainly hope uh, it'll be a lot of fun not just for you the team owners but for lots of indian football fans as well bachin bhutia john abram thanks so much for talking to ndtv